Uh, one thing I will say though about the costumes in this game, there are a bit too many teensies. Like, there's only like yeah. a few costumes for the for Rayman and Glowbox, which is really weird. They went the other way around in Legends. Yeah. Rayman and Glowbox and Barbara and by the extension uh, unlocking have a lot more outfits. Yeah. Oh, the coin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright. That would be great. Can I... Uh, oh, yeah. This... Yeah, I remember this. Can you get the coin? Yeah, that's probably what they wanted you to do. Ah, uh, this does look good. This does look really good. Yeah. But, um... Even for Wii. Yeah. yeah. Like, from what I understand, the only real difference between this and the HD consoles is that the Lamb King has more... Like, you hear different parts of the song when you get him. Um... Oh, yeah, da, 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 yeah. Da, da, da. This like you hear that once in the first level. Yeah, in this version, you all, you always hear the same thing. Mm -hmm. Or you can t apparently glitch it out and not hear anything before into this playthrough. But um, that and the, as far as I can tell, it's a little bit more uh, clean. Like the environments look a little bit more uh, vibrant. Vi Vibrant, I, yeah, I guess, since like. And I guess the sprites are a little better. Yeah, it just looks looks more clear in general. Kind of yeah. reminds me of like when John, like when Johnny uh, was talking about um like, like it was during the, during the brand scratches um DKC three playthrough. Like Johnny said like like because they were they were talking about Origin for a moment, right? Oh. And he said, like, I just got trained in my Wii version for a, a for, sorry, I just got trained in my 360 version for a PS3 version. And he's like, why? Like, why? Because you'd rather play with the D-pad and all that, right? Okay. But then, but then, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ted mentioned the Wii version. He's like, nah, if there's an HD version, I'm going for that. <laughs> like, I rather just get the version I first come across, I guess. You know? I have the Wii it's version because I didn't have a PS3 at the time. I mean, like, when I got this, when I got Legends, I could've gotten the Wii U version, but I went for the PS4 version. Well, yeah, you have the benefit of, like, getting it later. I got it- I- I got it when, like, it was- it was new, so... I also got my pre own, so... Yeah, dang it. <laughs> Wish you got your heart back. Yeah. Mm. Oh, shoot! That scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I do Go like... away! Man. Man. Right. That was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I, I was looking at that guy, like, he was like, not giving up. Oh, dang it. I need to be faster. <laughs> uh, like, what were we saying? You were saying how I'm so great. Huh? <clears throat> Saying how you would buy me a new game for my birthday. <laughs> sure. What are you getting? Sure, Scrappy. What do you want? Night Trap. Night Trap? <gasps> what? Really? No. I don't even know what that is. The Sega CD game that made the ESRB a thing. Oh. oh. If I, right? Partially yes. responsible for it, at least. This one scene, I think it was, like, in particular, like this girl, or, like was uh, like assaulted by like the kidnappers that you're trying to stop. It's a game of screen. Oh what? And it's like it's implied, I think it's implied rape and all that. Oh wow. It's it's an FMV game with live actors and basically a trash. It's like a, 
a trashy horror movie, but in video game format. I see. You gotta play in an oddly booby trapped house that you control. Huh. I'm not kidding. Really, am not kidding when we say that that game's the part of the reason the the guess what exists. Okay. That, that 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 made that made like a new scene, I think. Hmm. Interesting. When did, uh, what was this? Uh, like oh, was like Dreamcast? Don't play well. Sega when CD. Sega C Sega CD. But when when did it come out? The system, it's the hardware itself, or the game. The game. Uh, 1992 or 93, I believe. Like the kind of impact the game which you can have. Like I remember, um, Mass Effect, and, and like had a big deal with the sex scene. Mm. See, I I know very little about Mass Effect, so. Or, or something incredibly stupid like um Luigi's death stare. That's hilarious, though. That, that well that uh, got caught on because it's funny. Because like Louis, Luigi is just, it's. It, it, just something about him, like you just love him. Well, he had the, he. Well, no, the death stare itself became the me and became the news thing. It, it, they're clearly just looking for some. You're clearly running out of material. Oh yeah, yeah. It was like on the actual news. I mean, I yes, prefer they, and it's, which is which is sad. I just find I, that hilarious. I prefer to talk about. I prefer to do a fluff story than actively start start stirring stuff. It causes a controversy. I mean, See, if you have to. Thing with like news stations is that they, a lot of the time they just like talk about how video games are just like bad for people and stuff. So it's just like, why? Um, did you know that a bit in Portal Two actually got been on the news too? Uh, I don't remember that. Um. Uh, okay. Um. There's a there's a bit where like Wheatley and uh, Glados are going on around the end of the game, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, um, there, there's that adoption bit in joke they were going at. Oh. And apparently, uh, some, some guy, hold on, actually, I'm gonna look it up. Because, okay. uh, I'm really bad at, uh, at, like, doing this normally, alright? Wheatley made a comment about adopted children, and because a news day has slow news day, they picked up on it and kind of roasted Val for it. Well, it, well, exactly because apparently some kid finally at the time like who was an adopted kid was playing the game. Oh, and yeah, that would be bad. But the Wait, kid didn't been... even mind it. The kid didn't even mind in, no, know it. In fact, mm. like he, he looked like he didn't even care. Mm. You know, hold on. Well, to interesting. Yeah, but like. Hmm. But like news stations just see like well they do this for other things but um they kind of just focus on the bad sides of the gaming industry but you know at the same time uh, news is all about negative things anyway so i guess it's part of the course i <laughs> There's a reason why I don't bother watching the news. What one could po what could one possibly find offensive about the critically lauded Portal 2, an intent an inventive all ages friendly game? Are most turks too violent? Is the jazz too smooth? No, it's the jokes about adoption that have one Portal fan and one local news team riled up. I'm reading it directly off of Kotaku, by the way. All right. So says the report today from. From Charlotte, North Carolina's CBS affiliate WBTV, which, by the way, may contain spoilers for Portal 2 players. Oh, hold on, let me see when this was. Um, oh yeah, this was, um, May, May 17, 2011. Oh, wow. Um, Niels Patel, adoptive father to Zoe, a Chinese orphan, says he was upset by it with the barbs slung by Portal 2's antagonist, resulting that belittle the playable shell for her alleged adopted status. Morons and the overweight are also mocked by robots. 
The bullet team shells are nemesis. Ne nemesis. Use her for her non-existent weight gain and her lack of her parents. Pure real. I can't pronounce this. P u r e r i l e. I have no mm -hmm. idea. What? I don't know. P e u r i l e. I I give up. Yeah, I don't know what that is. A uh, bullying taunts that offend color into that offer color into their re re respective characters. The jabs that her being adopted were too much risk to tell. It literally, it literally pokes fun for not having parents, he says. Seeing the choke up in WBTV's news broadcast. He played the PS3 version of Portal 2 with his kid, but stopped when the adoption goes kicked in. It throws the ultimate question about the, that that child is ever going to have for you, and it just throws it right in the living room. Yes, it, it's got to be a bit awkward for adoptive parents if they're experiencing this in front of their non-biological kids. But Shell's enemies are also trying to kill her, which I'd find much more upsetting if I were her. But hey, I wasn't adopted and can't personally relate to the conflicting emotions of such a situation. Shocker so reached out to Valve to see if they had any comment on the matter, though they didn't before this story aired, reportedly. Yeah, yeah I think it's good. I think they're, I think, um, in a way both sides are kind of right in this, but and yeah, wrong. Yeah. Like, at the same time, it's just, a, it's in, when you consider, it's also a rate, I think it's, was the game rated 216 or E10? E10 plus. Right. Um, like, considering the kind of things that, yeah, when you consider we, what we, we and, and GLaDOS are, and what, you know, yeah, in terms of, like, Game Universe... You, you can tell it's a joke. Yeah, in Game Universe, you can tell, like, what they're trying to do. But I can... I'm trying to... Pl I'm playing a South Park game. Oh, no, they're making fun of blacks. Hey. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. not a cute... Yeah, very similar. Yeah, well... I know. Well, but, you know... Yeah. Still. It's like... I, I can understand why people would be like, Oh, just don't make jokes like that in Portal, but, uh, I don't know. There's no, like, there, it, it's more of a, this is more of a, like, a grey area, it's not really black and white, as you may, may think. Well, the news takes everything in black and white. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Wait, like, let me see what the Luigi Death Stare, like, thing does, says. Alright. Yeah. Oh, we're going to everyone's favorite level. Ah! Uh. Just to bring Rayman back into the topic for two seconds. Alright, see if I can make an angry strapper. I'm already angry. That park is not exactly the <laughs> parameter of quality. <laughs> Thing. South Park? Just kind of referring back to the article Jason was talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? No, I... Dang it. Okay, I, I failed at making Scrappy angry. If you get it in... If you get it in less than 12 attempts, yeah, I'll be angry. <laughs> <laughs> that was just me being stupid. The best thing about the new Mario Kart gameplay is the replay mode, though smart use of care focus and camera angles, it brings a little narrative to each race. In this case, a simple overtaking becomes something more sinister. That stare, so cold-blooded. You can watch the full clip it was taken from the stare goes forever below. Let's see. What's what it says. Oh, dang it, okay. There's a lot of news articles, so I can't really... Man. What oh. is this? Screwery. <laughs> I like how the music was done, but it just awkwardly started again. Hmm. 
This is also very long. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I thought I was gonna move. Go, 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 oh. Yeah, do all that over again. Attempt three, Harry. Is it? I Those spikes always look like they're nibbling my butt. Huh? Those spikes at the back! No. No. Oh. What the heck? The news are pouring on the Luigi desk there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, this conversation has felt a lot like a, a brain scratch thing. Yeah, right. I hate this. Oh, come on! That is... You're right at the end. I think you're getting close to the end, too. That, that was just crap. This is why Mario Kart has no voice chat video I found. Oops. Wow. I'm not gonna do that. Oh man. That was an interesting topic though. When how do we even get to that? What, the Luigi Dust there? Like the whole like um adopted thing. I think we were talking about game for a moment. <laughs> oh, you were talking about like some a ga like a game starting a racing or something. Oh, night nice okay. trap. Night trap, yeah. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Oops. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if the media, if the mainstream media wanted to actually criticize some games for being horrible, there's, there's some better, there are some better candidates in Portal 2. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, the Portal 2, like, like, uh, it, it's also a, it's also a comedy, isn't it? I, I guess you can say that. I mean, you can't excuse dark. everything for the name of comedy, but I mean, GLaDOS is obviously humor. an asshole. Dark humor or something, I don't know. Yeah, dark humor, that's... Yeah, and Portal is still with dark humor, and GLaDOS is the definition of dark humor. Yeah, I mean, especially if you play Portal 1, like, you kind of just expect stuff like that to happen, so it's just like, it just comes with the territory. He probably didn't play Portal 1, though, that's a thing. <laughs> I doubt if you've played any Portal games, honestly. Or any video game. Hey, and, and the news people, they probably don't play uh, yeah. video games. Yeah, like, yeah, like no, they kind of just focus on what's being like said that's bad, like negative, and just focus on that. Like, they don't really worry about what the context is most of the time. They just kind of be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. We have a story here, let's use it. Go, 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 go! We're near the end. Yeah, we're done. Oh. And Bus Scrappy was angry. I don't know, that was like seven attempts. Eight, maybe? Eleven, twelve. Well, it's long enough for that to drag a little bit. Have fun cutting all of that footage out. I don't know oh, if I... We're leaving that in. I, I don't know if I should, because we're talking about stuff. Alright. Ah oh, man, I think I <laughs> I think we've uh, exhausted this, this topic. Right. Um. Let's see. Uh. I'll go to topic starter now and see if I can find well, something. Well. Um. I I never actually like brought back the Rayman Three thing. Um. 
I I don't know if I'd really say like three has more platforming than two because I think it's the other way around. But three is more fast paced, I guess is the thing. Because like Rayman two is more, I guess slow and methodical. Whereas Rayman three because of like ev like you have the combo thing that the, the uh, power ups are timed, so you kind of had the mindset to just go go go. But Feeling good. I don't know. I feel like in this, in a way, Rayman 2 is a bit more focused with the with platforming, but I don't know. Mm. You... Alright, I just boost I just booted up top conversation starters. Well what what'd you guys well Scrappy only played the demo, but that... Um well, I, I do. I, I now I'm thinking about it more. You're probably right. Cause it, I, 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 I do need to play Rayman 2 again. Cause it's been a long time. <laughs> okay, now let's get on the fun. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, now for funny topics here. Random conversationstarters.com gives me. What is one thing that you cannot live without? Okay. Um. Food. Water, air. Yeah. And keep going. Okay, she would like talk about it like essentials and yeah. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna go on the personal stuff, I guess then. Uh, personal stuff. Um, TV. One thing you cannot live without. T. Uh, I can't. I'm technically I just can't go without video games. I need my escape, really. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, I, I, I don't know if TV and video games counts as two things. You, you, need you say electronics, then. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I can say that. Right. I can't live without Sonic memes. Ouch. <laughs> oh, God. But can you live without these Hotel Mario memes of, pe of you, characters just yeah, walking. Like, I, I can no. live without that. No. What you... Oh, man. You people are weird. Alright, like, uh... I, I know memes are supposed to be stupid, but there, there's point times where even I'm like, okay, what even is this? Dark souls, dark souls everywhere. That okay, was, new topic. <laughs> that was funny for a time, but now it's just getting old. Right. Do you prefer to shop online or in a store? Online. I just don't like to shop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would. I like the stuff online more. One thing I will say about shopping in stores, though, is that you can actually see definitively like, more what you're getting. Right. Uh, online. It's more of a gamble, I guess. Alright, you gotta just trust it, right? Yeah. Alright. No, oh, here's oh here's a good one. What accomplishment are you most proud of? Uh Gang a For job. me on What? Gang a job. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say that too. Uh, what are you, Scrappy? What are you what 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 accomplishment are you most proud of? Uh, this is so weird. <laughs> Graduating from community college. Okay. Okay. Okay, next one. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this playthrough? <laughs> Would you rather be the smartest moron or the dumbest genius? What? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. So, like, uh, am I? It sounds like I'm just gonna be really stupid anyway. So, like, what? Um, uh, if I had the if I had the honestly pick, probably uh, uh dumbest genius. So at least be, at least it means I'm smart. But it just that uh, I'm not. Smart as it could be. I guess. Okay, what is what? Is, oh no, not, not that one. That, that one's a little too no. 
Okay, what is the first thing that you think of in the morning? Food. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. I'm gonna eventually implant the fat in the thought of Xenoblade Chronicles in your head. Sometimes, uh, in the, when I'm sleeping, I s slowly think to myself, oh, okay, I'm gonna lay out all these things that's gonna have that I'm gonna do tomorrow. And most of the time, like, none of it happens. Okay. What? You cut off completely from me like a robot. Oh. Uh, okay, can you hear me? Sometimes now? in the morning. Uh, when you sleep or something like that? So sometimes, okay, yeah, sometimes it, when I'm in the middle of sleeping, I try, Some. I sometimes think to myself, okay, I'm gonna organize in my head what I'm gonna do tomorrow, like, point for point. And then most of the time, none of it actually happens. <laughs> um, for me, usually it is. God, I wish that my shower, my bathtub was working. <laughs> Yo, uh, one. This is hilarious. Um, so you know how that uh, we're eventually gonna do that crash race thing. Yeah. Um, I uh, like Joey can do this. <laughs> Uh, it, no, it, it's like, I had this weird dream where we were on Crash 3, and you were beating me, <laughs> and I was, I you just- were so, You were still in Toad Village. I don't even remember where I was, but I was just, I just woke up and I just like, what? <laughs> okay, new topic. What is your favorite childhood memory? Uh... uh... I have so many. I guess That's if I had to pick one broad. out, I think it would be the first day. I, I think it would be actually um, like the first time I played Mario Party, a full game of Mario Party. That was a lot of fun. Mm. Like yeah. I, a lot of memories were out during that alone. Yeah. Oh, like I think it was Mario Party too. Uh, what happened was, uh, um, me and my mom were were um, doing D um, DT, and it was the one where you had to do some missiles. I forget what it is, alright. Um, it, it was a 2v2, two, two two. so, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I was, my mom was driving. No, I was driving, and she didn't know how to use the missiles. Mm -hmm. So, so like, she basically just dropped, no, 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 so she was driving. I, I was using the missiles. She didn't know how to steer it probably because underwater, like, up, down, up, and things. Alright, yeah. Yeah, so it's just like, hey, we only had ten, five seconds left. She just dropped the controller. You know what? I, you know what? Let's just let them win. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite childhood memory? I'm trying to think. I, that's kind of a broad uh, question. Too many for me. Mm. Uh, I guess um, playing Pokemon Stadium mini games with my siblings. I guess. Uh, mm. Okay. I can't really okay, think next... of anything in specific. Okay, next topic. <laughs> uh, what weird food combinations do you like? I could go for a lot of things, actually. This is... Uh, hmm. <laughs> like, I, like, for me, there's usually a lot, there's really rarely a time I won't eat this after this or anything like that. Mm. Peanut Especially butter on salami. <laughs> what? Peanut butter on salami. Hmm. Really? Oh. Like, I saw... I saw it in an episode of Scooby-Doo once, so I was prone to imitating it. Huh. And you actually liked it? Yes. Uh, Alright. Now, the next thing you need to do now is um, actually eat a, a sandwich made of Scooby Snacks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not eating those actual dog treats. Um... <laughs> Reminds me of that Ruby bit. <laughs> and there, was a there was a Ruby joke where it's like a, a Ruby TV joke. Where it's like, um, 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 Neptune and Sun were, uh, we're doing the usual stick, and then um, team uh, the rest uh, team Juniper and um, uh, who was it? Um, team Juniper and uh, and and Dwy. Oh, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing like a they had a whole Scooby Doo thing going on, doing all the bits. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you just see like Sun and Moon, Sun and uh, Neptune eating like Dwy snacks. 
<laughs> and it's like, keep eating dog food. It, it will be more like them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, this one's a pretty easy topic here. Are you a morning or a night person? Night. Night. Night, easily. I am not a Gravity? morning person at all. I used to be a morning person. And then you took an arrow to me. Hmm? You said you used to be a morning person? Which I would get it up Saturday morning to watch TV, because that's when certain shows Yeah, it's easier to be a night person and aim when you're young. A, a day person when you're younger. Yeah, th that was me as well, because I, I remember being like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna like... Cartoons, cartoons, cartoons! Yeah, and... But now it's just like, it's best to get on later when we know everybody's online. <laughs> Well, that and it's just like, there's no point in getting up, like, super early anymore. Right. We we don't have that same kind of energy that we had did back then. No. Oh, we're on the boss now, right? We're getting there. We got this chase sequence first. Next one. Um, should I go on this one? Okay. Um, if you go, if you could go back in time and change one thing, what would it be? Uh, a lot of stuff that happened in school, I'll just say that. That one time where I where I used my mom's credit card information. Oh. Like, cause that, you know, even though that's how I got Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City and all that, I really regretted doing that. Mm. I paid her back full now, aim by aim, aim a bit after I got my job. In fact, actually, at before I got my job, I promised her I would pay her back completely. Yeah. And I did. Nice. But still, oh fuck this thing. Um, yeah. no, because this guy chases you really, it, it, you get copied from his hip and his pack. But anyways, um, what about you, Scrappy? What would you change if you go back to town? Uh, I'd probably go back in time and tell Sony to buy the rights to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> what? What? Go back in time and tell Sony that they need to own the rights to Crash Bandicoot and swallow the price. Oh, man. What about you, Harry? Uh, well, I just, like, so basically said, like, I try and change things what happened in school and stuff. I don't really want to get into, like, specifics, but. All right. Okay. Oh, this is a big one. What was the biggest life change you've gone through? Meeting Joey. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably accurate. That's the sad thing. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that answer. I'm not changing it. For me, it's probably uh, you know, like discussing the internet or like. No, no, no. I, to be more accurate, Tumblr. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, no, because no, really, because I would never would have met a lot of my friends. I never would have gone on Skype. I never would have met, like, a bunch of people. I never would have met, even met you guys. Yeah, I never yeah, would have ran to Lewis. Actually, that's a good thing. Um, That's a good point. Um, Like... Oh, wait, if... you want to Rain Man, then? Oh, oh, yeah, I should probably switch to Rain Man. Um, if I didn't start doing YouTube, like, LPs and stuff... None of this would have happened. Seas brain wouldn't be a thing right now. Uh, I never would have met Nick. And Who? Oh, Nick. Yeah. Because, okay, so here's what happened. Um, I remember, like, starting, um, starting a channel, and, like, a year or so later, I saw Nick's Sonic 06 playthrough. Um, and... Like, I, I remember being like one of the only people who commented on his videos and was it when I started streaming a few times uh, he he was like the only one there so at one point um, we uh, Brendan who I met on a uh, Mario Galaxy 2 website um, uh, was it we we ended up talking into a in a call when we were streaming on Skype, and um, that kind of gave me a, gave me the idea of like starting a group channel, and you know things started spiraling from there. 
I guess. Mm. Also, Hocus Pocus. Focus. That that that's <laughs> that has to be intentional. Oh. Oh, what about you, uh, Sky? What was your biggest life change? The summer after I graduated from elementary school. Oh? Hey. Hmm? Hey, you don't have to go any more details from that if you don't want to. It would ruin the mood of the last play if I did. Oh, wait, was it a bad memory? Yes. I'll change the topic. Um, let's see. What did you do last weekend? Nothing. Yeah. Um, best um, yes, pretty much. I. More or less what we're doing right now. <laughs> oh no, I, I was uh I was playing Star Wars. Oh, that's what my brother. Oh right. Oh right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what you were doing with Joey, right? Yeah. I had a friend over. We. I started the insane trilogy with him. Oh right, yeah, you have that now. How far have you gotten? A few levels in Crash 1. Also, what the heck? The loading times are horrible. Oh yeah, you're playing on a normal PS1, not, not the Pro, right? Vicarious Visions! Do not make low, do not make short loading times a benefit. <laughs> load time, well, you know, I don't really mind the loading times. It, it, you know, it's it's more of the I guess the only thing that really bothers me about the load times in the insane trilogy is the numbers. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Like I can sit like nothing will be as bad as those six. No, well, that that's because that game loads in between levels and stuff. In, in between, yeah, like in between dialogue too. Looking at the missions. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, wait, how far actually did? Get, like, what, what level did you end up in at in Crash One? Uh, from past Papu Papu, and maybe one level after that. Um, what's you... what's right after Papu Papu? Is that Rolling Stone? I think so. The fact that I remember this is kind of horrifying. <laughs> I'm in it's a deep. memorable game. All the wrong reasons, but um... <laughs> sorry. Um, being somewhat facetious there, but. Crash one traumatized me a bit. So you know Crash one? Hmm. You know I mean? Uh, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I, I get that. Bit. Well, yeah, Fa yeah. Thank God we never have to play that version ever again. There's no reason to, unless you want to play a better version of High Road. <laughs> yeah, really. And, and, uh, and, and, while well, it's arguable, the music. Uh, yeah, that can be argued. I uh, still I'm say, actually, like, it's sort I'm of like... kind of different, actually. Well, I mean, like, in that way, I'm saying it more like the sense of... What, playing Super... Why people still prefer Superstar over Superstar Ultra. I, I guess, yeah. You know, some people just prefer the music, how the music is done in Superstar compared to Ultra. Yeah. And all three, m most of the tracks are better in Ultra, in, in original. But at the same time, whatever. I, I, I can, I can, I it's not the end of the world if I don't have that sort of the kind yeah. of like. I mean, I, 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 I would say the instruments do have a bit more of an impact in the Super Nintendo one. Right. Like, more specifically the, the background, like the, I think the basses, or the, yeah. or the. Yeah. And I mean, I, I guess that has something that, that's like to do with like how, uh, console, uh, and handhelds have like, work differently in terms of the, um, in. Things they use for music. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, 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 you know, like, um, you know, like they, they did the best they could with the original on the original Super T Nintendo, and I guess using the exact same, because yeah, the the, the DS's sound card is that is obviously different. Yeah. At the same time, when you look at other games, it's like on on the 3DS, it's, it's like on a normal DS, it's like um. 
you know, the, song, the original titles that are are obviously ha had those in mind. You no, know, they were designed, they were made for that with the, with the instruments in mind. Right. When you remix something, there there's a chance of, you know, I, I, I don't know how to describe it though. I think I'll get what you, see what you're getting at. Right, but anyways, um. Was there some, oh yeah, but back to Crash for a moment before I uh, decided to go back to the topic conversation thing. Uh huh. Uh, um. Oh yeah, what'd you, well, what'd you guys think about the, uh, remade music? I, I like most of the remake, uh, remake tracks. Yeah. The only one I actually don't think about it that I don't really like is the, is the, is Barrett and all that in the remake. I'm indifferent to that. Like, it sounds way too different to me. It sounds too hard. It sounds like it's way, trying way too hard to be a remix. Like, like it has like this more of a sci-fi thing. Sounds like you're in space. Yeah. Which but I, I will say I do love a lot of the remixes, like Turtle Woods. And oh um, yeah, Turtle Woods is great. One of my favorite, one of my favorites is still the remix of Rocket. Yes. And the. I do, I do really like the remixes to um, Medieval and um, Motorcycle. And the War Broom music. Yes. In the both two and three. Yep. Like, um, mo mostly music I kind of want to say I think I like better than the original, but there are some that I think still sound better in the uh, original as well. Like, um, I know, like, there was a lot of big, t like, a lot of, like, back, kind of back and forth between, like, Jaws of Darkness and all that. Yeah. I will say, I think, the, yeah, the, the first, the original one's better with, for ambient reasons, but I yeah. think the remake has the song. Yeah. It's good. Because a lot of the stuff is, like, it's go they're going for their own style. Right. I'm also really glad that they're using like real instruments and all that in like their own and it's their own remixes. Yeah. I think they used real instruments in the original as well. Um. Well, it, it was. It, I think it was synth. Probably. I think Rapper Cortex was synth, but that's one through three. I think they used real well, instruments. I think in Rapper Cortex they were kind of going for their own uh, thing as well. Uh, I know. I'm saying. It, it was a different uh, composer, I think so. I think the composers is the Crash Games. Uh, the Everyone original wants. trilogy was Josh Mansell. Josh Mansell, I know that name. Yeah. He composed a good deal. His team is partner Mark Mother's Bow. Mark, how do you pronounce the last name? Mother's, yeah, Mother's Bow. Mm. Composing for Rugrats. Wait, oh wait, 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 actually, wait, I was gonna say, wasn't that, wait, actually, wait, what was the first name again? Josh Mansell. Yeah, wasn't he the guy who did like the music for like didn't he do like the Clifford theme or something like that? I think that was Mark actually. Regardless, I think it, 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 it still sounds nice. I think Josh also did Jack and Daxter. Uh yes, they they came back for Jack and Daxter. Ah uh, right, yeah. It, it, not, it, it, we'll just say Naughty Dog's composer. <laughs> Well, I don't know if he's the if he's annoyed or not. Well, like, no, he's just a freelancer. That's all. Uh, I guess I guess he just I guess he just has a lot of more. I guess it's the well-known titles are Naughty Dog titles, but yeah. by coincidence. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we have. I think we we, we can probably get enough ones for in, in just by doing the uh, level. And, and, like, you don't have to get every single thing inside. Well, no, but like, it's still there's like stuff everywhere in the way. I'm trying to like yeah. clear things out. Yeah. All right, then should I bring one our random topic, or do you want to go and crash on our uh, Rain Man? If you have something else to say, I got nothing else. Everybody, all right, everybody, go for a new topic. Sure. New topic would be good. If you could have one superpower. What would it be? Teleportation. Yeah. That's easy. Batman's money. <laughs> what? What? Batman's money. <laughs> I just, oh, I see, oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Ah! Right, can I please survive this time? Ugh! Nope. There's too many. Um. Uh, uh, uh. 
I think I actually. I remember actually the splash bash that was flight versus invisibility now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I was team. I think I was team flight. It's just no practical. We well, I won. I, yeah, I won actually. That, and we won that splash bash. Nice. I barely. It's like like in flight. Me? Sorry, invisibility had more had the popular vote. Right. Uh, I get. Yeah, it makes sense. Cause like. It would be good for like practical jokes and stuff, but beyond that, like it's kind of pointless. Not practical. Yeah. I can think of many practical happen. Unless everybody wants to be a super spy. Yeah, I mean that's if you're in the espionage or some practical applications for visibility. But then the government will be warning you. Okay. I'd rather stay out of the government affairs, thank you very much. Yeah. Benny, if you have any power, the government will be on your ass. Yeah. Alright, I'd like to be out of this level today. I guess I'll just go a flight just for the two games like that. Oh, this is an interesting one. Um, do you, oh, wait, Harry, what's your power? Teleporting. Alright. 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 Do you prefer to travel or stay close to home? I'd like to travel. Prefer to stay close to home. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I like, I like, I prefer to stay close to home, but I, I would like to travel. Yeah. And because, you know, I'd rather still visit, I really want to visit you guys. Oh yeah, definitely. Alright. Okay, here's a funny one. If you can give one piece of advice to the whole world, what would it be? Stop being douchebags. Uh, <laughs> don't die. Flush the toilet. <laughs> Jason, you sound like you had a bad experience with someone. No, it's just a joke. Okay, honestly. It oh would no, be, I uh... got I got life advice. You gotta find the car. 